Good morning, everyone. First of all, uh, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna get a little emotional, so I, I do apologize for that. But tomorrow, tomorrow is um, National Indigenous Peoples Day, and it just got me thinking about some things. You know, um, some people are so afraid to acknowledge what our ancestors did to the First Nation people, the 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 pain and the abuse that they inflicted on them. Somehow they're going to be blamed. Well, we're not to blame, but we will, we will be blamed if we refuse to acknowledge that these things happen or question of the number of babies that were found in those graves. These things did happen. Some people want to say, well, it's time they get over it. It's in the past. You know, you have to understand about trauma. Doing my show, I have learned a lot. And one of them, I guess, taught me about when we're abused as a child, we carry, without being aware of it, we carry that trauma forward and we inflict it on our young people, okay? Now, I know about uh, abuse, I know about trauma. What I experienced is not, does not even compare to what happened to First Nations people. It doesn't compare, okay? And I'm not trying to compare it. just want to say that I understand about abuse and about trauma. And when you tell somebody to get over it, you don't understand how there's triggers Something triggers and it brings you right back to that moment in time when that abuse happened to you, okay? That's why we have no right to tell anybody, get over it, move on. You don't have that right. Nobody has that right. And besides, for a lot of First Nations people, it's not over. It's still going on. You think abuse is over? Some things I've learned, and again, it's because of my show. One of my First Nations friends told me that he didn't know. This is a simple thing, okay? He didn't know that when he goes into a restaurant by himself, like he didn't know he, he could get a second cup of coffee for free. It was never offered him to him. You know when he found out? When he was went to a restaurant with a white person. That's when he found out. It's simp it sounds like a simple thing, right? But we have to be aware of these things. We have to stop this horrendous abuse to our First Nations people and our friends and our neighbors. Now, to those of you who are my friends, my First Nations friends, first of all, I wanna thank you for accepting me as your friend. For those of you who honored me by being on my show, thank you for sharing your story, whether you wanted to talk about your business or what's going on in your community, all of that. For me, it was an honor to have you here. You know, I've talked about this before, I think, but when my friend, Gerald Charlie, invited me to a healing ceremony, something happened to me that created a huge change in me. I watched these people try to heal themselves from the abuse of the past, try to help their young people heal and move forward and become better human beings. It just meant so much to me. And I what now I, I'm at that point where I just wish I could be part of their community, part of the First Nations community. Because somehow I feel that's where I belong, but I, I don't know how to be there. You know, I really don't know how to be there. And I don't know how this is coming across, but I just feel so emotional about it. And to all of you First Nations people, on behalf of my ancestors and to the people that are doing things to you today i do apologize sincerely we need to stop and we need to stand up for you 